Hello, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we're going to look at scalar subquery caching, a way of improving the performance of function calls from SQL. We'll start by creating this simple test table. It has a single column that holds numbers. We populate the table with 10 rows, but only three distinct values. We need a function to call in our SQL statement, so let's create one. This slow function accepts a parameter and just passes the same value out again, so it doesn't really do any work. To fake it taking a long time, we get it to call dbmslock.sleep, so it will sleep for one second for every call. Calling the function directly in the select list gives us terrible performance. We have 10 rows, so that results in 10 function calls, each taking one second. Now we'll attempt to fix this problem with scalar subquery caching. Rather than calling the function directly, if we turn it into a scalar subquery, we get much better performance. This is because it's only called once for each distinct value. The result of each subquery is cached in a hash table in memory, so if the same query comes back again, it doesn't have to be run, the result can be used directly from the cache. The cache only exists for the lifetime of the statement. So if we run the same statement again, it still takes the same amount of time because the caching has to happen all over again. In the same way, there's no sharing of the cache between sessions, so if we reconnect to the database, it still takes the same amount of time. Scalar subquery caching works equally well in the WHERE clause. There are some restrictions associated with this functionality, so check out the link in the description box for more information. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more. Say it a few times. Dot com. Excellent. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Phone to phone.